Welcome to the video that shows you how iOS 26 changed digital planning and productivity for good. This new iOS 26 is absolutely amazing. And if you do digital planning or you do multitasking, um, you're high on productivity. This new iOS is absolutely life changing. It's time changing. It is absolutely amazing. Cannot wait to show you the few ways that I've already discovered how I love to use it just within less than two hours of me using this new iOS. It is absolutely amazing. It's very user friendly. It's super easy to kind of get your hands on. I do have a previous video right before this one where I posted how to do lots of the new features. This one's going to be mainly focused on digital planning and using the multiple windows. So if you're wanting more of the basics like changing the app icon, colors, and doing all that little fun aesthetic stuff, be sure to check on that earlier video. But this video, I'm going to show you just ways that you can use this multi-window and um, ways that you can use the new dock feature. I'm going to show you here in just a moment as well. Um, so first up, this is just amazing. Just being able to have my calendar open to be able to go through my photos, organize them in my folders, all at the same time is amazing. It's There's just so many different ways that you can use this. So one of the ways that I'm going to show you is I go through my photos all the time and I organize them in my folder pile so they're easy to find. I'm talking about screenshots, things I want to save and look up later, not just general family and vacation photos. So first of all, we're going to exit out of this one and we're going to open this one and probably open up a couple of my most used apps. So we're going to change the menu bar to go on the top of all of these um, to give us a little bit more real estate here and then we are going to open up a couple of the um, folders that I'm going to be using the most which is probably going to be uh, my house I'm gonna have a lot of stuff from my house and I'm probably gonna have a lot of stuff from my scrapbooking so I can open both of those or you could just keep them closed right now you don't have to open them right now but I'm just showing you one of my processes for going through all of these so I've literally already went through all of 2025 it did not take me very long at all which is just absolutely amazing um so let's just go back we can just go back to the folder pile we'll just go back to the main page of the folder pile on both of these um and let's start in 2024 so i'm going to go up to here to the search january 2024 and we're going to click ok so now i'm going to go down and i'm just going to simply go through my photos and i'm going to look and see if there's i'm just going to look and see if there's any screenshots okay so i'd actually already made it to october 2024 on going through all of my photos and stuff. So I'm just going to kind of show you um, some different things here. So like a lot of this is house stuff, like house inspiration. So this is a lot like, yeah, I probably won't be able to do this on screen because this is a lot for me to go through right now. Um, but anytime I found anything that I liked, like for instance, this was a really good cleaner for like countertops. So like I would put this in tips and guides and then there's cleaning tips here. And then I would just bring over this picture and I'm going to remember what it's from. And then it's got who the Instagram account was and everything on the photo as well. So this is kind of how I go through and um, move everything over. I will say everything that's downloaded on your iPad, like you've got so many photos down downloaded on your iPad, those transfer over really quick. It's when you get like over a year past where you are, where it's got to actually download the photos. It does take a few seconds as you just saw to bring it over. But once I like put it in a file folder, then I can hold down on this and I can hit delete and be done with it. So a lot of times I've got a mixture of like scrapbooking and house stuff and all of that. So then I would be able to have multiple, I could even have more than this open like for instance so i've got a lot going on here it looks like with the kitchen and bath so i could go to my home um, folder i can go to my home folder over here and then i can open up like kitchen which i know i think i've already got some of these saved but let's just go to um we'll probably have to add another page i've got a lot for my kitchen so here's my kitchen and then i can click on living room over here and get my living room uploaded. Then I can just go through here. Okay, do I like anything about this picture? What did I like originally? If I don't wanna keep it, I've got a lot of other pictures of pantry saved, I can delete it. This is a roof line that we were trying to figure out. I actually don't need that anymore. So you can just go through your pictures like this and as you come across one that you would like to save, okay, I love this one for the kitchen. I can drag it over and make it a little bit smaller and then anytime we're planning our kitchen updates, I can go directly to this folder and find out exactly what I liked and what I did like so this is how i've organized all my photos having the multiple windows open is just game changer for that 
Okay, so next up, you can add things to your doc down here. So I'm slowly trying to reorganize my files and stuff like that. I'm going to be doing a deep dive on this on our subscription um, before too long so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, but here I've got some Breezy O products and I've got stickers and I have these arranged by month. So um, right now, currently, we are in September. So what I did was I dragged September down and I put it in the dock down here. Now you can see it's already there, so it's not gonna allow me to add that one back there. If I do a different month, you can see it scoots over and you can add that directly to here. Now, there's a couple of things with this. Whenever you're adding stuff to this folder, whatever you added last is gonna be what shows up on the outside. So I added in all of my stickers and then I added in this cute little folder, which you can find on breezyorganization.com. I've got customizable folders that you can buy. And I just put that one as the very first icon in this folder. Um, so it kind of looks nice and it doesn't look like little stickers down here at the bottom. So this is how I'm using this. If I go to Noteful and let's just go full size for right now so we're just gonna go full screen so this is my current planner that I am using and this is the monthly um, this is the monthly layout uh, say I want to add something to this monthly layout I can pull up and bring my dock in here and then you can have this come out now if you hold down on it you can either you can either view it as a fan or a grid fan is what's gonna come out like that's gonna be the option that's already picked for you I think I like the grid better but I am still playing with it but like I said you just drag up from the bottom and then if I click this you can see it comes out in a fan and you can see I've got all of the PNGs for the last five years in this folder that I can choose from for my September spread now the reason why I didn't like the fan shape as much because I couldn't see it real good with the background and um, you just couldn't see very many at one time so if you hold down on this you can hit grid so if you hit grid and now I click it it gives it a more of a background I think I'm in dark mode I don't know if it'll matter whether you're in light mode or dark mode in your settings of your app but um, I can see everything a lot better so literally five years worth of stickers I do have my sticker book of like my favorite stickers um, but I'm going to start using this as a way to organize my stickers as well and I'll go on deep dive in this on my subscription video but you can see that I've just got all of my September stickers here and I'm actually in October over here so I actually need to switch over to September because this is the current month and then if I click this and say I want to add a leaf or say I want to add these cute little coffee cups all you have to do is click on it and drag it over and it's in your planner so super easy to add in those stickers so if you want kind of like your backlog of all of your different options I think this is a great way um, to view and add your stickers if you like this way now I personally like using the sticker book better but I do think that this is an awesome option um, like I was looking for something the other day and I could not remember which year it was and I didn't have all of my stickers but just my favorite ones in my sticker book so if I knew it was in September it would be really easy for me to just open up the September file keep it down here in the docs until the next month and then I can change out to the next month folder so I really really think that that is super convenient and if you don't have all of your stickers in your sticker book yet that's a process the PNGs are a lot easier to move over into a folder really quick so that could definitely be an option for you to kind of get ahead on the game on adding all of your stickers and putting them all in one place so there's two options that I'm absolutely loving I think the main thing to remember when you're trying to use these multiple screens is do not get discouraged if you don't figure it out in the first 10 15 minutes um, when I first started using it I'm like okay I love this but it's also like how does this work where did it go and you there's a few tricks that you've really got to learn and really the best way to learn them is to start playing with um, the multiple screens now I I know how to work them really really good I know how to get what I want to go where and I love them so so much so the, a couple of things to just remember if you're totally in full screen and the adjustable things down here at the bottom if you're wanting to get to the stoplight or the extra files you got to pull down from the top and that's how it's going to show you that there if you want to quickly get to like the last size that you had this um, planner in if you double tap so you can either draw down from here and make it whatever size you want or if you double tap up here on the menu it will go into automatic full screen or other um, if you have two applications open so say i have photos open and then i also have my um, rain planner open in the background if i want both of these to be side by side you can throw it 
just I just move it and throw it it'll automatically make it an even two screen there so that's another option if you want to do that again you can always hold for these stoplights and if you hold down on the stoplight it will give you an automatic three four split screen full um, arrangement as well there and then again this closes out minim minimizes and then makes large so if you hit that it's gonna make that large or you can double tap as well and it will take you there or you can just double tap at any time and it'll automatically go into full screen which is super nice if you don't want to have to play around with these stoplight buttons and get into focus when you need it to focus um on and then to easily find something else i'm working with or grab something it, it's just amazing i highly encourage you to just use it just try it and um i think you'll find that you will absolutely love these multiple screens um again if you want something else in the same window if you want another um, like noteful open just click on that again and your plus icon is going to come up here in the corner if you ever have lots of multiple windows open and say you I search for a lot of my applications, so I will just pull down like anywhere right here and my search bar will come up here. Well, that's not gonna happen when you have multiple windows just open right here. So to get to kind of that main screen, you're just gonna push up and then tap in this open area and then you can get your drop down and you can type in settings or whatever else you wanna get to. And then when you click in the middle, it's gonna bring those windows back up. So again, if you drag up from the bottom, almost like you're wanting to go to another window over here, but then tap in this gray area and it's just gonna kind of move things off to the side and then it's it's like a regular iPad and then whenever you're ready to get back to work you click on that or you can click on one of the other applications that you had open um, so super easy super fun I love them so much I really don't even know how I was making it before the multiple screen so another thing that I just love about the multiple screens is it just makes so many more apps more um, productive and more usable so I know one of the things that takes quite a while to do is um, importing fonts and so when you get a new device or if you find like 10 new fonts to do it takes a while because before and the old style so this is the um please excuse all the fingerprints on this this is one that my kids um, share for school and stuff so it has not been cleaned but this does not have the new ILS so this is the way that it used to work so if you wanted to install a new font you would click if it's got a check mark it's already installed so you click on one that you don't have installed that you've already imported from like defont.com Etsy or wherever you download your font you just open the font with this app I currently use any font a n y font and it's just an application has all the ones that you've imported opened with this any font and then you're gonna hit install and then you hit allow and then you have to go and open up settings so then you'd have to have settings open right here and then it would say profile downloaded and then you would do all that so then you were constantly okay when you got that one done you're going here when you got that one done you're going here and you were doing that number back and forth so now with the new update so funny not funny story happened to me this last week and while I was filming um, for one of these videos my phone fell off and hit my iPad and I did not have a protector on it and it uh, cracked my screen. Thankfully, I did have um, Apple Care on it, so it did not cost an arm and a leg like I thought it was going to. Um, but anyways, now that I got my new iPad, uh, because they don't replace the screens, they give you a new iPad. So now that I've got my new iPad, um, I've got to reinstall all of my fonts, which if you've been in business and you've messed with fonts for a few years, you have like 50, 100 fonts that you need to install. So this is gonna be a long process. As you can see, I have no extra fonts installed in this iPad at all yet, and I have a ton to choose from over here. So I'm just gonna start with some of the ones that I know that I use um, quite a bit, and I will click here, and then I can click install. And like all of the options are still the same, um, but this way you can just go right over here and do them back and forth without having to keep opening other windows. So this is actually my first time doing it. So let me get it kind of set up right. Let's find that profile. I feel like this is all different now. Okay. Okay. So I have to make it a little bit wider to see where that profile is downloaded. So it's right here. I'll hit profile download and then hit install. And then you're going to type in your passcode and then you hit next and install, install, and then that one's installed. So then we're going to go over here. And as I get the hang of this, I started choosing different fonts on the left-hand side while I was installing things on the right-hand side. And let's just say what would take me like a couple of hours before, I think I had 30 or 40 fonts installed, probably 10 minutes. As you can see, this is just gonna go so much faster. So there are so many 
different advantages to using the multiple screens. I'm telling you, I've just begun to scratch the surface on the different ways that you can use these. As far as multitasking, I've already had where I've had like a YouTube video playing over here. I've got my checklist over here. I've got my work products over here. Having multiple screens, guys, is game changer. I hope this video gave you a little bit of a glimpse of that. I'm hoping to do more videos like this as soon as I discover more ways that you can use these um, so everybody can use them to, to their fullest, which I am just, y'all, I'm blown away. It's already saved me so much time in my productivity and workflow. It has been insane. So hopefully you guys can use these tips and tricks. Um, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in more tips and tricks videos like this, as well if you're interested in digital planning. We'd love to have you join our community. That is what Breezy Organization is all about. Thanks for watching this video today, and I'll catch you on the next one.